So hi everyone, in this video I'm going to do a review of this uh, IODKG uh, Android tablet. It's uh, a 10.0 inch screen tablet, but uh, let's get in the unboxing. So the first thing that I see is that uh, the tablet came sealed, but the box looks extremely cheap in my opinion. I paid for this one uh, here in the UK uh, 180 something pounds, which uh, it's quite a lot for uh, what I can see from the box. Alright, so now I remove the foil, so uh, let's see what's inside. Alright, so it's supposed to be open upside down, as I can see, because uh, things look uh, pretty messy in here. Also, the protective foil is on, foam is on this side. The pin is somewhere put like here in the middle, very strange, and I suppose this is... I'm not really sure yet, but we're gonna find out. Uh, you get a pair of headphones, pretty cheap quality as I can feel them. You get uh, the charging cable also very cheap. There is another cable, this one it's uh, USB, USB Type-C indeed. You get a pen, also this one, also how this packed, it's relatively cheap. Yeah, so this is the tablet uh, with, uh, no, in fact, this is the keyboard. The keyboard uh, looks, I wanted to say relatively uh, good, but in fact, it's a bit wobbly. And here at the back, it has this uh, uh, metal, some aluminium, and it's a bit wobbly and doesn't feel right. It is quite slim, though, and it has some functions on off here. And I'm not really sure and I don't understand why uh, at the back it doesn't have something uh, uh, here, some pins anti-slip, but okay. Mm, here we have some uh, stickers, this is the first time when I see this type of things. Uh, our French layout, there is an Italian layout and it's Spanish layout, but here we are in the UK, so why do we need these ones, I don't know. And uh, this is the tablet. Yes, yeah, so after I remove the foil, this is uh, what I see. Uh, it comes with a case, but we will get this one. Uh, well, let's uh, finish with the, the unboxing. You also get this one. I'm not really sure what this represents. It's a USB uh, Type-C. Okay, I got it. And at one end, it's a USB 3.0. Probably it's an adapter. But this one, it's uh, very confusing for me. Not really sure what it represents. And as I said, there is a pin uh, for the SIM card, which uh, was just placed over here. Really strange. So this is the first overview of the tablet. It comes with a case. I think this part over here is supposed to be magnetic, but unfortunately it doesn't even stay properly. Okay, so if we open it, we see the tablet. It's a 10.8 inch. It's quite large and also a 6 giga of RAM and 128 giga of uh, internal memory, which is quite cool. So this is the first view of the tablet, it comes with a foil on top that you obviously can remove uh, from this side. Uh, not really sure what this one does, because the first time when I see it. Uh, here is the front camera, and let's check the back, it has this uh, branding over here, the model is M6, the EMA, EMA2 and design and assemble in China. This is the uh, camera, and the flash for the camera, really strange that the position, not the position of the camera, but it's... Uh, a bit like 3D, I'll show you a bit closer. So this is how wide it is, uh, in my opinion it's quite bulky. Uh, here is the microphone. On the other side we have uh, two speakers, one located over here and over here, only two speakers on this tablet. Here we have the SIM uh, slot, uh, you also get the pin to remove it. Uh, here we have the charging port, uh, quite bulky also, it's USB uh, Type-C. Uh, here we have the volume button, plus and minus, also I think here is the microphone, another one. Uh, here is the power button and the lock button, I suppose also at the same time, and here is the jack port. And uh, the last uh, part, here there is nothing like nice and clean design. Well, in terms of functionality, I consider the buttons located over here, they are well positioned, because the camera is here on the other side, and most of the people use the tablet uh, on landscape mode. So to switch this on, uh, we're gonna use the button located here at the side. We're gonna press uh, this one long till uh, it switches on. And uh, it starts with the logo, very strange brand name. 
and let's see how uh, long this one will take uh, to boot uh, is the latest android already installed on it uh, comes with uh, 6 gig of ram as i said before here is a nice intro but i think uh, for a 6 gig of ram they could uh, do a bit better and we are keep waiting yeah, surprisingly compared to the other tablets that I reviewed on my channel, this one uh, takes uh, significantly less to load. So, okay, let's go. Insert safe card, I want to skip. Welcome to your tablet. Okay, copy your data, set up as a new. I want to set up as a new tablet. Okay, it goes really fast. Also, I don't want to connect the Wi-Fi. Okay, if I continue date and time okay again uh name i suppose i have to put here so i will put joe also the layout uh, looks quite interesting uh, okay protect your tablet not now skip anyway google services okay i'll disconnect this one and also this one and then i agree and now it should start wow the start was uh, the booting was very fast and also the settings that i did uh, which are surprising i suppose uh, it comes with yeah this is the menu pretty standard for any android there's no menu to, uh, left and right uh, i saw something interesting so basically if you swipe uh, right uh, you get google chrome and i don't know what's happening if you swipe left well basically nothing uh, from the top you get some settings which is quite interesting as we can see this is located over here not on the full size of the screen and to get more you have to swipe a bit more really strange in my opinion I don't think I like this style okay and if we press on the bottom we can see all the apps installed there is only one page you get uh, Activate Amazon is the first time when I see such a thing on a tablet. You get uh, uh, play movies, uh, YouTube and sound and uh, pretty standard for any Android tablet. So now they have connected to the internet. I'll show you how uh, fast the apps uh, are opening. So if you press on YouTube, you can see it's quite uh, fast, surprisingly. And if we press on one of my videos, the layout is quite uh, strange. I'm not really sure why, I'm pretty sure it's from uh, the, the YouTube app, so uh, yeah, we need to wait for the advert to go, we're gonna skip the ad, and here is the description of the video, and if we press on this one, we can see another advert, and another advert, and uh, here is the, the rest of, here are the rest of the videos, comments sec section really strange to operate and this is, here you can operate the uh, volume you can do it also with your finger the sound is not uh, as i expect it is not that loud only two speakers over here i'll move the microphone a bit closer for you guys to hear this is the, interior. From what I can see, this is the max volume quality. this is medium volume and I will just change the video and uh, probably it's gonna be a bit different. Okay, so now I'll open Google Chrome to see how fast this one opens. Yeah, it's quite okay, uh, but obviously we need to make some settings over here. I just wanted to check the speed and you can do the same if you open, if you slide uh, on the right, you get the same thing. So if we press uh, here and search, uh, let's say uh, we get some suggestions and the speed is quite uh, fast. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Not satisfied with the rest of the things so far. So I'm going to show you the positions that you can get with the uh, uh, case. You need to fold it like this. And because here at the bottom it has uh, anti-slip material, it stays uh, quite properly, it doesn't flip. But there is something that I just don't understand and uh, is this part here at the top which basically covers some part of your tablet which I don't think is right. And uh, here at the bottom you can get the keyboard and you get this uh, part uh, from plastic which I don't know what represents. 
So this is how the uh, keyboard looks like uh, from uh, a close up. Here we have uh, some buttons uh, for on off and the status, the status of uh, the battery I suppose. It's a UK layout, you also get uh, Spanish and uh, French layout uh, stickers, I'm not really sure what those ones do. Here it's anti-slip material, I don't know why they put it on this side, probably for your hands not to slip while you hold them like this. And uh, here is the touchpad and you also get uh, buttons. You can connect the uh, keyboard uh, via Bluetooth and uh, once you get the status that there is no more battery, you can use a USB Type-C, over there is the charging port. The pen for the screen is not very responsive in my opinion, uh, it takes uh, a bit of uh, hustle, I would say, just to get it right. I would definitely suggest to use your finger not really impressed uh, with uh, the speed of it and how it performs. It looks quite cool though, but uh, not really sure about it. And um, the last thing that I would like to show you about this uh, tablet is uh, the performance of the camera. As you can see, the refresh rate on this one is quite bad. Uh, and also the difference between uh, highs and lows, uh, blacks and uh, highlights, uh, uh, not really responsive, in my opinion, quite bad quality camera. So that's all about this tablet. Unfortunately, um, I don't have a good opinion about it. Uh, it looks extremely cheap, the functionality is really bad, and unfortunately, after one hour of use, the camera already cracked. Uh, the selfie mode doesn't even work. And I don't suggest to buy this tablet. There are way better options. Uh, on the market out there for a better price so i hope you found this video helpful guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and i will answer thank you for watching and see you next time